Miss Lori here with story time. Hi, boys and girls. Um, today we're going to the moon. Do you know how we could get there? You can't take a car. I don't think we could walk. Um, could you ride your bike? No, we couldn't take a boat. What about an airplane? An airplane goes up into the sky. No, it has to go farther than what airplanes do. What we have to take to go to the moon is a rocket ship. So why don't we sing a little song? <laughs> and um, we want to start like this, okay? Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship and zoom, 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 we're going to the moon in five, four, three, two, one, blast off! <laughs> Are we on the moon? <laughs> okay, let's do that one more time. But when I count down five, four, three, two, one, and we do the blast off, I want you all to jump up as high as you can jump, okay? Ready? Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. In five, four, three, two, one. Are you ready? Blast off! <laughs> All right. Let's start like we always do um, with our hello song so we can get a chance to say hello to all of you, okay? We clap and sing hello, we clap and sing hello with all our friends at story time. We clap and sing hello. Hi, everybody. Can you say hi to me? <laughs> hi. All right. So since we're going to the moon, my stories are all about the moon. And my first story is called Grandfather Twilight by Barbara Berger. Okay, and I am going to be able to share this with you thanks to Philomel Books under Penguin Random House Publishing. It takes a while to get to the front. Grandfather Twilight lives among the trees. Have you ever heard of Grandfather Twilight before? When day is done, he closes his book, combs his beard, and puts on his jacket. I'm glad to see Grandfather Twilight reads books. Next, he opens a wooden chest that is filled with an endless strand of pearls. He lifts the strand, takes one pearl from it, and closes the chest again. Do you know what a pearl is? It's a little bead. And I think they come from oysters. Clams or oysters? I think it's oysters. Then, holding the pearl in his hand, Grandfather Twilight goes for a walk. The pearl grows larger with every step. Leave, excuse me, leaves behind, leaves begin to whisper and little birds hush. Do you see the difference from this page to this page? How big the pearl got? Now look how big it got. And it's even bigger. Wait till you see this big. Look at there. It's like a bowling ball. Do 
Gently, he gives the pearl to the silence above the sea. <gasps> Look. Then Grandfather Twilight goes home again. He gets ready for bed and he goes to sleep and there's the moon up in the sky. And he says, good night. <laughs> okay, before we go to the next book, um, we have some old business to do. Maybe you noticed I still have the Yeti and the keychain. Okay. There was a class at Nathan Hale that participated in this activity and I'm going to draw the name. Two of the children in that class pick the right color. So <laughs> one of them will be able to adopt the Yeti. So I'm just going to Reach in here. Luckily, I only got one. <laughs> okay, I don't know whose it is. Ready? Dun, 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 dun. Lucas! Lucas gets to adopt the Yeti and gets the keychain. So we'll make sure that we let your teacher know and we'll deal with getting the Yeti and the keychain to you. Congratulations. Now, Let's make sure it was what color it was. All right, Lucas probably knows, but none of you, the other ones who picked a color, blue, nope. There was two who picked blue, two who picked red, I think two who picked yellow. Nobody picked orange, which is a good thing. And let's see if I can take this off without removing the... Do you see it? There it is. There's the bluebird. There it was the whole time. So congratulations, Lucas. You did a good job. So did the other person who picked that color. But unfortunately, we only had one prize. Well, two for one. So this is yours. This is yours. And here's your ticket. All right. So now we're going to go on to the next book. And this one is Papa, Please Get the Moon for Me. And this was written by Eric Carle. And you probably heard other books about from Eric Carle. He wrote The Very Hungry Caterpillar, um, The Very Quiet Cricket, and many, many more. And, of course, we have permission from Little Simon Books under Simon & Schuster Publishing. Thank you. Before Monica went to bed, she looked out of her window and saw the moon. The moon looked so near. I wish I could play with the moon, thought Monica, and reached for it. Have you ever thought you could reach for the moon? Sometimes it looks like it's really close and really big. But no matter how much she stretched, she could not touch the moon. Papa, said Monica to her father, Please get the moon for me. Papa got a very long ladder. <laughs> Can you see how long that ladder is? Do you think that's going to reach the moon? He carried the very long ladder towards a very high mountain. Then Papa put the very long ladder on top of the very high mountain. Climbed. Look it, he's getting closer. 
must have taken forever. Ugh. <laughs> Finally, Papa got to the moon. My daughter, Monica, would like to play with you, said Papa, but you are much too big. Every night, I get a little smaller, said the moon. When I am just the right size, you can take me with you. Whoa, can you see this? I have to fold it up again. <laughs> And indeed, the moon got smaller and smaller and smaller. Now in this other story, the moon kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger. In this one is getting smaller and smaller and smaller. When the moon was just the right size, Papa took it. Down and down and down he climbed with the moon in his hand, see? Here, said Papa to Monica, I have the moon for you. Monica jumped and danced with the moon. She hugged the moon and threw it into the air. But the moon kept getting smaller and smaller and smaller. And finally, it disappeared altogether. Then one night, Monica saw a thin sliver of the moon reappear. See it right there? Each night, the moon grew. And grew and grew. I hope you like that story too. Okay, so you sort of already saw the craft, and if you came and picked it up, then you know what it is. Okay, we do still have some left. Remember, we have a limited supply, and we still have the ones for night owls too. So you know, they say it's going to snow, so you might want to come in today and pick those up because we are open till 8, and you can pick up the one for, for night owls that will be on our webpage on tonight and the one for tomorrow's story time, okay? So, I already have one made, yes, just so I could do that rocket ship thing, okay? So what you got was a piece of black paper, okay? And I already glued these two pieces together. These are the yellow wings and the blue rocket part. So I just glued it onto the back, okay? And then you're gonna turn it over so the wings are on the back. And you're going to find the gold, like triangle here. And we're going to put some glue on the back. And we're going to put that on the very tip of the rocket ship. So, the very tip. Just like that. And then you're going to get the small green triangle and put glue on the back. Okay, and you're going to put that at the top of the gold one so that it looks like this. Okay, and then you can get the black circle and the gray circle. Put some glue on the back of the black circle and stick it right in the middle 
right there. Okay. Make sure it sticks. There you go. And then you take the gray circle and you put some glue on the back of that and you stick it right in the middle of the black circle. And that's the window. So when you're flying to the moon, you can see outside <laughs> and see where you're going. See? Okay. Then you have to take this piece, okay? And this piece, all you have to do is put a little glue on the top. And the top is the straight line, not the round part. Okay, so you put some glue on there. And you stick the glue underneath, behind the rocket ship. See how it's on the back? And then when you look at it from the front, it's right there. And then you take the fire and this is the orange and this is the red. You take the orange, put some glue on the back. Okay. And you stick that onto the red. All the way to the top. Just like that. Okay. And then you put a little bit of glue on the top of both of these. Just the top. Okay. And you stick it under the green bottom, like this. Let me show you. There you go, and your rocket ship is done. But we're not done yet, because, oh, oh I, <laughs> I found it. Um, you got a black piece of paper, and you also got a white piece of paper that represents the moon. And it has straight edge right here, and you put it in one of the corners. It doesn't matter to me what corner you put it in. Okay? And if you want, you can take a, cray, a gray crayon and you can make some of the craters that are we see on in the moon. Okay? And you can make them just different sizes. Some big ones. Just go around and around. You don't color them in. And some small ones. And medium-sized ones. And... Just like that. Let's see if you guys can see it. See? But you also don't have to do it that way. Okay, let me put the lid on my thing. And then you take the rocket ship and you want to put glue all over the back of it. At the top, in the middle, at the bottom, and the fire. Okay? And you can have it going towards the moon. You can have it partially touching the moon. Whichever way you want to go. Okay. Let's make sure it stays. Just like that. Okay. And then I gave you a sheet of stars. And you can use as many as you want. And of course, when you go to the moon, you're going to see stars in the sky. So you just put them all over the black spot. Now, if you don't want to use all these stars, those of you who are in A Thousand Books Before Kindergarten, remember I read two books, you can use these to mark how many books you read on your sheet. Because I don't know if you really need all these stars. But while we're doing this, why don't we sing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star? Can you sing it with me, please? Don't sing, let Miss Lori sing by herself. All right, ready? Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. <gasps> there we go. See all those stars? You can put more on or you can put less on. Okay? All right, I hope you enjoyed my stories, and I congratulations to Lucas. We'll make sure that Lucas gets it. Here's his ticket, and uh, we'll see you next week. I hope you guys keep yourself warm and safe. We're supposed to get a lot of snow. Don't know if that's going to happen or not, but we'll see. And we'll be back next week, so <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> all right, you guys all take care. 
I miss you. Hope to see you soon at the library. Bye-bye.